Can you see what this is? The 2023 Orbea Rice M20. Yeah, that's the new one with the Shimano EP801 motor. Let's see if we can have some fun. Yeah, uh, let's have a quick look at the bike first and then the last part of this video will be a lot about the motor noise. So the 2023 uh, Orbea Rise carbon version, it's got uh, sort of a new frame. Well, it's the same, it looks the same as the old one, it's got the same frame geometry, but it's been altered a bit to fit to follow the lines of the new Shimano EP801 motor and um, it's got a bigger down tube for the 540 watt hours battery it's not much bigger it's marginally bigger you can't really see it even though this bike has got the 360 watt hours battery it will also fit the 540 watt and they have removed the power button on the at the bottom of the down tube now you use the new SWEN whatever 600 switch on the handlebars to power on and off the bike. And I think that's a good idea, combining these uh, functions in one unit. This bike hasn't got a display. You can connect uh, your Garmin watch. There's, this bike has even got a Garmin, I believe, specific uh, holder at the top of the stem. Internal cable routing has also been improved, or at least altered. Uh, the cables now go in through the headset bearing. So yeah, for anyone like me who enjoy working a bit on, on their own bikes, I don't really think that's a big advantage, but it looks clean. And also the internal cable routing is uh, fixed this time uh, on the 2022 models and previous the cables weren't really properly attached inside the frame so they were causing a bit of rattle and that's pretty much gone on this 2023 model so it's a much more silent ride the bike i'm riding is the m20 so it's the entry level carbon version it's got the 140 mil travel fox 34 performance uh, fork which i think suits this bike quite well the frame has a new rocker for the rear suspension that supposedly saves a bit of weight. The 360 watt hours battery has been updated for 2023. It saves a bit of weight too. It ends up being reasonably lightweight at about 19.5 kilos without pedals. So all in all, quite a few worthwhile changes to this bike for 2023. But the motor. I just rode a rebuilt 2022 bike with the Shimano EP801 motor and I couldn't really make it rattle. The rattling sound of the old EP8, EP800, it seemed to be gone. Uh, so I was very interested to see if that was the case with this bike too. I mean, I need more than one sample to really confirm that this rattling noise is gone. And if you don't know what rattling noise I'm talking about, uh, here's an example. So I took this bike for a ride to check for motor rattle.
Yeah, what can I say? I really don't know what to make of this. Uh, I lifted the Orbea rice and dropped it before uh, I went for a ride. And I was really sure that this bike was silent, that the motor was silent. But as I was riding, I thought I perhaps heard something and uh, going through the footage when I got home. Yeah, it's no doubt there is motor rattle here. So I called the owner of the 2022 bike that I previously tested and asked him, have, have you got any rattle on your bike? Has it returned? And he's, he was pretty sure he had no rattle still on his bike. He's been riding it like three times since I tested it and it's still as silent as it was when I rode it. So yeah, I don't know what to make of this. Uh, the Orbea Rise I rode now, it's a much more silent bike than uh, the previous, the 2022 models. Uh, but the motor rattle is there to some degree. Sure, uh, I think it's not as bad as uh, the old EP8, but who knows, this noise might develop with time. So, yeah. Conclusion of this video has to be the EP801 motor probably isn't completely silent, but it seems way better than the old one at least. Also, I had the chance to connect the app to have a quick look at the, at the new fine-tune settings. So, you can set uh, basic or fine-tune for um, both profiles. So, yeah. I set uh, fine-tune to profile 1 and uh, kept basic for profile 2, but that's up to you. And the fine-tune, it looks very advanced, but uh, it appears to me that it really isn't. Uh, there is very little you can change in the fine-tune uh, settings. You can select up to 15 different assistance levels, which is a lot. But you can only alter the maximum and minimum uh, motor power settings and all those 15, or how many you decide to use, will be distributed between uh, the maximum and minimum torque settings. And you can't really uh, adjust how the motor power ramps up. If you want uh, an assistance mode that ramps up more quickly, you could just remove the, well, you just pick the assistance modes that suits you uh, from those 15 that is on offer. I didn't get the time to test these settings, so I'll get back to that. That's it. Appreciate any likes and subscribes. Thanks for watching.